Uh, we're joined by leading rider Mick Carl. Now, Mick, you've ridden all around the all around the world, pretty much. Uh, we've got the new poly track here this morning, and obviously the first few uh, have gone around on it. You've had a few rides. What's the initial thoughts on it? Oh, it's good underfoot. There's no doubt about that. It, it feels nice. Horses just glide across it. There's a little bit of kickback at this early stage, which um, hopefully will, will, you know, that'll lessen as it, as it beds in. But no, it's a, I'm very happy with it. Nice, nice and wide too, it sort of surprised me when I've got out there, it's a nice big open track anyway. Oh it is, yeah, plenty of room on it and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to racing on it. And a couple of big weeks here on the Gold Coast, um, you are just saying off air, a couple of nice rides potentially coming up in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, you know, competitive time of the year and they won't be easy to win but yeah, I've got a couple of nice horses coming up, uh, Pentito this weekend, he's, he's going well. Uh, Magic Millions Day, I've got Street Dancer in the in the Stayers Cup, who's uh, been racing well, ran second the other day in uh, in Brisbane, and indiscreetly in the, in the Mayor's race, she'll be a good chance as well. So looking forward to riding those. Yeah, indiscreetly and Street Dancer, both super consistent. <laughs> and as you said, Street Dancer's just been good week after week. He deserves to, to win a good one. So uh, between him and indiscreetly, uh, exciting sort of couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, no, looking forward to riding them. All right, appreciate it. Thanks for joining us and uh, good luck.